So good morning everybody. An early start for me, earlier than normal. Uh, we have a bit of an exciting day today. In case you hadn't guessed it, we are off to pick up Charlie, who is a two-year-old pointer from coming from Cyprus. He flew last night. He's a rescue and he is being delivered to Oxford. So about an hour's drive from here. And we've been on a WhatsApp group this morning and they're early. So I'm taking this little lady out for a walk because I'm picking him up on my own because Jamie's got to work. And we're very excited. So I'll keep you posted along the way. Also to let you know, I've had a busy week. We've just had a water system installed and uh, what it does is sucks up the canal water, filters it and then we can use it. So we have no more worries about how much washing we do, how big my bath is or any water concerns whatsoever. So I'll probably do a little bit of a separate video on that. Maybe I'll just get hubby to do it with me later. But today, as you can imagine, my thoughts are with getting our new little friend. But anyway, just to say, I had a bath half full last night and I didn't have to worry. My first bath in clean canal water and it was brilliant. Yeah. He is so calm. He's done a mega journey and I've just picked him up from Stand Lake in Oxfordshire and he's just so chilled. So I'm going to get him home now and I'll do some more video when I get home. Gorgeous. peaceful boat. I took it, it took a while for him to um, come down the steps. I just gave him time and he's a two-year-old pointer and this is where he's found his space already. Look at that. He's very sweet, a little timid but that's exactly what we want because being too brazen is not good. He's been really good in the car popped his head up a couple of times but that's about it and Elsa was just absolutely brilliant I'll enclose some footage of when they first met but I think she's quite happy with it so all in all a little bit of a chill and for him to get used to everything and then he'll feel safe and we can start our lives together so pleased, he's gorgeous. First walk is a Snifitron, which was very like Raffi. <laughs> I think someone's settling in already. He's overtaken Elsa's bed. <laughs> he doesn't seem to mind. He's now chewing on one of the uh, what are they called, sweetheart? Antlers. 
which is really good, great for his teeth. So I'm good with that. Happy boy already. Searching out for food because I give little treats to Elsa and maybe they might be caught in the uh, bed. Yeah, we're happy with that. We are only day two. And look at this. Good boy, Charlie. Good boy. Right by the side of me. And actually not stopping to sniff every five seconds. So that's in 24 hours. Perfect. Long may it carry on. <laughs> Go on then, get him. Come on. Charlie. 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 Come on. Good boy. What do you think, darling? What do you think? He's a bit brash, isn't he? He needs to learn. Yeah, he does. You're my good girl. Yes, you are. You're my good girl. Yes, you are. Welcome to our new pack deck. This is our view in Kintbury. So, sweetheart, what have you been up to today? Cleaning the deck. We got rid of our bow tanks because we have a new water system. Yeah. And I will run your viewers through the water system we have, which basically we suck up canal water, filter it, and we have end of supply of water in our bow tank. So we can do the washing, we can water the, cleaning, the plants. The showering, I can clean my boat with a hose as long as I want to mm. and we will always have an endless supply of water and it is a game changer and I will run you through the system next time. <laughs> filming this week because we've had him to worry about so I haven't been um, had my thoughts on anything else much but just to say we are day five now and he is really settling. We've started recall training with treats and we've been out on a walk and for very short periods I've got a special beeper collar that um, calls him back if he runs off a bit far but I'm not allowing him to fail really so it's all early days but it's looking very good. We have to move this weekend so we're moving from Kimbury I think to Midgham area getting closer to the Thames and that will be the absolute um, test of all as to whether he can cope with moving boats and noisy jumping on and jumping off. But I think what we'll do um, is put him in the cage to start with, just so that he gets used to what's going on and we can concentrate on driving. We have a makeshift fire guard guarding the door at the stern end of the boat, um, just so that I can get on with things and I don't have to be watching him all the time. But I found when he's on deck, he's actually very good. He just wants to look at what's going on. I've ordered another child gate, um, which we've actually got. Down that here. blocks off the rest of the boat as well. So I've got a safety mechanism there as well. But it, the, the one I've ordered is exactly like that, but it's going to fit up there. In case I didn't mention it, he's currently on Foster, 
um, to see how he gets on with boat life with the view to adopting him. And hopefully that will be the case. Um, as I say, after we've done our cruise, we will make a decision, I think. I hope you don't mind this video uh, has been completely taken up with him. We will do um, a video on the water system um, that we are currently using. We've had it in for about five days now. And it, as Jamie says, it's a total game changer. Um, before I go, I must say a big thank you to um, Carol Bracewell at Hope to Hounds because she is the lady who has given us a chance to make our lives complete again with this boy. And uh, if ever you are wanting advice on rescue dogs or you want a rescue dog yourself, they are beautiful dogs from Cyprus and absolutely gorgeous, all of them. So uh, for now, I'll leave you. Please, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Please like the video. And uh, we'll be back to normal next time. Bye-bye.